GWH-TV, bringing you classic wrestling action sanctioned by the Georgia Wrestling History Network. Welcome back, everybody, to another exciting episode of Georgia Wrestling History TV on the Georgia Wrestling History News Network. I'm Kenny J, and tonight I've got here with me Bob Keller, the fabulous Playboy Bob Keller. Get it right, man. The Come fabulous... on, I thought, I thought you did your homework. A little bit. I'm not great. Yeah, at this. I'm not great I thought we went through this with Skylar already, man. Yeah. Anyhow, go ahead. Hmm. You had some questions? Yeah, the fabulous Playboy. Say it again. Fabulous Playboy Bob Keller. All right, great, fantastic. And we're here at VPW tonight for Infection 2. It's their one year anniversary show. All kinds of crazy stuff going on tonight. And tonight he is managing the match. Zane Riley and Wayne Adams. Can you give us a little bit more? Help me out. Help me explain. I'm this. not give anything. I'm not give away our strategy. Oh, okay. I mean, I wasn't well, asking give for away strategy. Well, I was just. You well, know. Do, do you do you find the great coaches of the NFL and say, hey, what's your strategy to beat this team? No, they don't. They don't come out and say, this is what we're going to do tonight. This is what we're. They come out and say, we're going to play hard. We're going to win. That's what we're going to do here tonight. All right. Zane Riley right. and. Wade Adams? Wade Adams. I, I know who it is. <laughs> Zane Riley, Wade Adams against some white guy named Mike and you know, Buff Bagwell. Where's he been the last few years? I guess running around doing this kind of stuff, indie stuff. So. Where's he been? I've been here since the beginning of Viral Pro. Where's Buff Bagwell been? Probably off mowing his grass in Atlanta going, well, wish I had a job. <laughs> Wish I had somewhere to go, something to do. Because I'm buff and I'm stuff. No, you know who's buff and who's stuff? Zane Riley. I got to agree with you there. Yes. Oh, yeah. Mr. 305. He's the one and only, on. the 305. And we got buff, the stuff, and white Mike, who just go dances on out here. Well, tonight, that's not going to happen. Zane Riley and Wade Adams going to shut them down. We're going to walk out of here with our hands held high like we do every time we're at Viral Pro Wrestling. All right. I'm excited for that. Like, I am just... Well, you should be. It's I'm, Zane Riley and the fabulous words. Playboy Bob Keller in the building. Now, you should be starstruck right now. You're standing beside I me. Am. I am. I've, I've been a little nervous you since you I walked in the building. You can't offend me with cash. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, maybe we'll have to talk a little bit later. Well, you've, we've been going on about Buff. Or, well, you've been going on about Buff. Uh, he's going to be here tonight. You brought it up. I did. I did, and I'm sorry. But we are going to have to lead in to our match. You see, what you're doing, you're helping me lead into a match uh, okay. on our show. On so our so who, who do you have with Zane Riley facing tonight? Uh, well, we actually have Buff Bagwell facing a guy named Tim Jernigan. Never heard of her. She sounds hideous. i got to say, I'm not sure who that is either. So... Well, if you don't know, how are these people going to know? They're, man, don't, they're don't, here for the fun. They, no, they're here for Zane Riley and Bob Keller. That's who they're here for. That's what you should be right, showing. Right. Well, then, so, then look, guys... okay, look. All right, folks, sit around, watch Buff Bagwell, Tim Jernigan, get right here on the GSW Network.
Opening match. We're about to move on to our Made in the South match, but I am here in the 
uh, uh, the foyer, if you will, of the gymnasium with uh, Justin Hancock from, he, he has, this is the man that's taken over the Viral Pro Wrestling Report, the VPW Report. That's why we have VPW on GWH TV now. So he's gonna do a great job with that. Uh, what are you excited about tonight at the show, Justin? Well, what I'm most excited for here tonight at Infection 2 at Viral Pro Wrestling, uh, we have the I Quit match between Chris Main and Six for the Viral Pro Wrestling Championship. And tension has been building between these two men, and I'm sure they're going to put on one hell of a match here. And another match I'm excited for is the crowning of the first ever VPW Tag Team Champions, which will be a four-way elimination match between the Hellhounds, the Hierarchy, High Profile, and the other Definitely those both sound like exciting matches and if you're not here you're missing out so you have a little bit of time left on my on my fake watch so get out here to the show Sorry. and um, cool so let's speed things up here we're gonna go into our made in the south match we're going down to um, where was that again I don't remember but <laughs> it's a match between Cedric Alexander and AJ Styles what do you think about those guys Cedric Alexander wow Seen he's moving on to bigger and better things here, signed with the WWE as part of the cruiserweight division. But I actually had an opportunity to meet Cedric twice when he came down here to Grovetown, Georgia, once for Flatline Pro Wrestling and the other for Pro Wrestling Bushido. But he's a really cool and down to earth guy and can do very impressive things in the ring. And especially AJ Styles, I followed his career from early to the day all the way up to where he's now in the WWE. Cool, cool, cool. So you heard it from the, one of the wrestling men himself. Stay tuned for this match. It's going to be insane. I'll be back with you guys in just a moment. First, to my left, he weighs in tonight at 207 pounds. The city of Charlotte, North Carolina. Cedric Alexander out of Charlotte, North Carolina, just 90 minutes away from here in Winston, the biggest match of his career. Very excited and to for this. Right. He weighs in tonight at 215 pounds. The Senator of Gainesville, Georgia, the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. AJ Styles out of Gainesville, Georgia. Getting getting some love like it's home here from this crowd in Winston-Salem. Fan favorite versus fan favorite tonight. One of these men will walk out of here with a huge win. And we are underway. Let's do this. I've been waiting for this since it was announced. Cedric Alexander, AJ Styles. Dueling chance already. Yep. Handshake crowd to split. start off. Crowd is split as evenly as it can be. A little cat and mouse here at the beginning. Both of these guys trying to fill each other out first time. These two have ever faced off. Now Cedric trying to... Nothing going there for either man. Kevin, you've been in the ring with both of these guys. Correct. Let's start with Cedric. He's looking at, again, the, the biggest name, arguably, that he's ever faced in his career across the ring right now. What has he got to do to put away AJ Styles? I cheated to beat him, so maybe a little cheating would help him. Okay. Because I'll be honest, AJ Styles is like no one else I've ever wrestled. Uh, from the intensity he brings to the ring to just the just the skills he has. There's nobody like him. So uh, Cedric's going to have to give it his all, but you know what? Cedric does that every night. So uh, he's got as good of a chance to beat him as, uh, as anybody has, honestly. Um, Cedric uh, is on the rise, and uh, I've seen it just in the last year. I've been so impressed with him. And uh, tonight could be, uh, could be an upset, because it would be an upset. But it's not one that's uh, that's uh, out of reach. And going the other way, it was about a year ago, give or take, that you also wrestled Cedric Alexander here in PWX. Year and a half, yeah. Year and a half, okay. And uh, I believe you, at the end you called him the real effing deal, if memory serves. Uh, what is what does AJ Styles got to do to put away Cedric Alexander? Uh, I mean, he's 
kind of has the same to do the exact same thing Cedric's going to be trying to do. He's going to have to bring everything he has because Cedric's not going to give up. This, like you said, it's you said arguably, but I don't think it's arguable. This is the biggest match of Cedric's career. This is the biggest star he's ever faced. And Cedric was just, I'm, I have a feeling Cedric just won't die. Uh, so it's going to be, uh, as, as talented as AJ Styles is, as experienced as he is, uh, I think he's about to, uh, to have the fight brought to, the fight brought to him by Cedric like uh, even he might not expect, to be honest. I don't know how familiar AJ is with Cedric, too. That might be something that plays in Cedric's favor. Yes, yeah, Cedric, I'm sure, has had a lot more opportunity to see AJ wrestle than AJ has to see Cedric wrestle. Absolutely. So the scouting report certainly in Cedric's favor. And it's going to be interesting that both guys very similar styles. They're both very quick but also have a lot of power. Neither man afraid to go to the top rope. Neither man afraid to hit you in the mouth. Both guys have strong striking ability. AJ Styles looking for either that Styles cl cl clash or that calf killer. And, of course, the concussion on delivery, that corner drop kick, the COD from uh, Cedric Alexander leading to that brain buster. If either man hits their move tonight, that's going to be it. I would say that the, the fact their styles are so similar probably has a lot to do with Cedric watching a lot of AJ Styles uh, as he came up in this industry. So that's, again, something that might play in Cedric's favor for this match. Cedric saying a couple of weeks ago that AJ Styles was one of the men that he idolized as he was breaking into the business. Well, there you go. So, Cedric Alexander and AJ Styles now. And again, we've, we've been a little bit of a deadlock here. Neither guy has been able to string together anything for a significant run. Still in the feeling out stage. What do you try to do at this point in the match, Kevin? When you're in there with a guy you've never wrestled before, first time you've been in there with him, first time you've really had a chance to look at him, trying to fill him out, what are you, what are you trying to, you know, what would you be looking for? A weakness somewhere? What would I be doing or what most wrestlers do? Because that's two very different questions with two different answers. Okay, we'll go with what would most wrestlers do. I mean, they do stuff like that. They try to gauge what the other wrestler has going for them, try to feel them out, maybe a couple, you know, whether it's a headlock or a lockup or an arm bar, anything like that. They're trying to see how strong the other guy is. They're trying to see what he's going to do to try to get out of it and then go from there. I try to punch people in the face, but uh, not everybody is like me, you know? That's true. Uh, you are one of a kind. I try. That's what my mom tells me. AJ Styles uh, actually took a little bit of a break just now, which is interesting, I think. You know, AJ Styles, though, last time I wrestled AJ Styles was in 2005. And while it's very obvious that he's very good and still at the top of his game, you know, a little bit older, yeah. maybe a little bit slower. I don't, I'm not saying that for a fact. We're going we're gonna to see. But uh, certainly doesn't look slower there. I take it back yeah. immediately. Look at this. Boy, the evenness of this oh. match is unbelievable. Quick roll up, just a two count. Cedric and trying to go for a package. quick victory here. Ooh. Now Cedric, oh, gets up. Very Our nice. Drag is what settles in. AJ Styles. Now, here's a question, and, and I, I'm not trying to question AJ when I say this, but I, I mean, I think anybody could fall into this. AJ has been on the big stage at TNA for a number of years. Uh huh. Right? Touring all across the, the nation, going overseas, being seen by millions of people every week. Yep. Now he's he's here at PWX. Our crowd size, not as big as what you would see at a TNA event or on TNA television. Well. But is it possible that, that spending all that time at TNA make, would make him look past an opponent here at this level? Sure. I mean, uh, you know, egos get bigger, and the guy's been all, like, it's like you said, the guy's been everywhere. He's won a lot of titles. Uh, I mean, and that's not to say, you know, that's not to say anything bad about AJ, but I think that's a natural, uh, it's a very natural thing when you've been, uh, ooh, this usually ends badly. Oh! oh! Cedric Alexander had this scouted. Usually, the leapfrog drop down leads to a giant drop kick. But Cedric's like, no, I'm just going to punch you right in the face, which is what I do. Oh, oh there he is. There he goes. Well, I guess he didn't have it scouted as well as he wishes he had. And AJ now, Styles still reeling from that punch, by the way. That was a very good one. And now Cedric to the floor trying to regroup a little bit. 
Styles stalking him. You never know oh, look out coming. here. AJ Styles will fly. We talked about it. Oh! See, you never know what's coming either. Some people might have expected AJ to dive over the top rope, but instead he went through the ropes and kicked Cedric right in the face. Oh, I forgot we had that screen again. Comes in handy. Like now, when AJ has Cedric on the floor. In the third row at this point. Back in the ring. No barricades here at PWX. Action right up in your face. Check out when we're coming to your town, pwxprowrestling.com. Right now, AJ settling in. Oh, Did you breaker. see how he picked them up and then picked them up, picked them up even higher before dropping them, adding velocity to that move. Usually people will just pick the guy up, drop to their knees, that's the end of it. AJ put extra oomph on that one, which could have blown his knee out. You never know. Definitely a risk-reward situation there as AJ Styles settles in, reaching back on the neck of Cedric Alexander. And for the first time, we see one of these men in trouble. AJ Styles firmly in control here on Cedric Alexander. I wonder if those gloves uh, actually help AJ keep a bit of a better grip on the, on the man than uh, bare hands would. Good point, you see a lot of receivers in the NFL, for example, wearing gloves to help them catch balls. I have never watched a football game in my life, so I don't know that. I know you're not a big fan. No, no. Like hockey? I don't, I don't like it either. I don't care about how many times they put the thing and the thing and then the points. I don't, it doesn't matter to me. Ever. Cedric's caring right now about being slammed down by AJ Styles. Very quick Hurricane Rana. And that's something you just can't prepare for with Styles, that, that explosiveness, that that's just out of nowhere, flying at you, Hurricane Rana, whatever it may be, you just the, can't prep for that. The only person I could compare uh, to AJ as far as that explosiveness goes is Roderick Strong, uh, but I'm not sure that Cedric has ever really wrestled Roderick Strong, so you're right, I don't think he would, uh, he would really uh, be prepared for something like that. Because that's the kind of thing you can't prepare for uh, no matter how many times you watch uh, the man's matches, you know? Until you're in there and you're feeling it, you don't know anything about it, trust me. You mentioned Roderick Strong. He and AJ Styles wrestled not too long ago. They and have. Styles' clash has left Roderick Strong with uh, some injuries to his neck. That's what our country jack was referencing earlier about going to do a big gay on it to come mm -hmm. out here. That could play in uh, Caleb Conley's favor when the title match in the tunnel, if AJ Styles hits that Styles clash on, on Cedric, um, who knows what could happen. Cedric could be in real trouble heading into that I pay per view. Absolutely. I mean, I'm sure Caleb doesn't feel too great after that match with Gallows, but still, that could even the odds a little bit. You see the agility of Styles. Oh! oh! Talk about having it scouted Absolutely. again. Cedric Alexander saw that coming. You went into my mouth and took the words right out just now. Just reached in there and just yanked them right out. Very uncomfortable. And so maybe the exposure of AJ Styles, a disadvantage for him. As we mentioned earlier, eight, there's plenty of tape out there for Cedric to see AJ. Absolutely. Or DVDs. It's, it is 2014. That's correct. The tapes, maybe not so much. Oh, man. Cedric really wow. has this. Oh, he's got to put some oh! oh, that neck breaker hung through the ropes. Now, obviously the impact on the neck. Quick no cover good. here. Just but two count. a thing that most fans probably won't know about is your back raking across that second rope there on the way down may be worse than the impact on the neck because those ropes are very unforgiving to, to the skin. Trust me on that. Seen a lot Trust of people me, I bleed over the years. Big chop by Cedric. You can see, I think, Welts on AJ's yeah, back say, from yeah. that rope. Oh, heavy-handed chops. Cedric shouldn't be taking time to draw Jack with the crowd, which is kind of ironic coming from me, who does it for 94% of his matches, but not if I'm wrestling AJ Styles, you know? Oh, oh man! Running kick to the head. AJ Styles in trouble here, but just a two count for Cedric. 
short two as well. That says something about AJ there too. But Cedric didn't waste any time going for the cover, which is the right move. Big chin lock. Looks like he has pretty tight. No need for gloves for Cedric. Again, I mentioned it earlier, the long list of wins for Cedric Alexander in this Dream Match series. Johnny Gargano, Jay Lethal in a Match of the Year contender for 2013. Got Davey Richards, Chris Hero in a great match in Hickory, North Carolina a few months ago. But none of them, none of those matches with the, the grandiose stage like this. We're here at Siggy's. This crowd from Winston-Salem very hyped up to see this match. AJ Styles right now taking it back to Cedric, driving him into the corner. AJ's just trying to get out of trouble at this point. I think he's still reeling from that fall on the rope there. But over, oh! It comes off that top rope with a quick AJ. kick. AJ, I think Cedric had him kind of rocked on the side as he went for the pin. Yeah, AJ, I actually think the leverage he tried to put on the on AJ's legs may have worked as a disadvantage for him. I agree. He lifted his shoulder on the ground. If AJ is anything, he is a ring general. He knows where he is at all times and feeling himself on his side for that pinfall attempt, using gravity to his benefit and just rolling over out of the pin. AJ looks like he needs a haircut. I wonder if the hair in his face may play uh, against him. It's possible. You don't know. It might seem silly, but no, well, I mean, big punch. When you're in there with a guy like Cedric, when you're in there with a guy like AJ, it's, I mean, it, that's what we're talking about here. We're talking about a half inch. Oh, my God. That was, I think he landed right on his head. AJ Styles in real trouble, struggling to get to his feet. He went right through the ropes. Cedric Alexander has been on point with his punches tonight, let me tell you. Now Cedric makes his way around the ring. Another one. Since AJ right down. AJ Styles might end up with concussed before the night's over with. The European uppercut rocks him again. Very impressive. Uh, and Cedric breaking the count there, not wanting to win this by count out. Crowd uh, getting firmly behind Cedric. Cedric, very impressive the way he's in control and has been for most of this match. It's quite honestly, a little surprising to me, but very good. Oh! oh. AJ just shifted the momentum in his favor. And now AJ laying it kicks. Oh! AJ crashing down on that apron, the hardest part of the ring. We were talking about explosiveness earlier. Cedric displayed some of his own just now. Cedric. Just trying to get AJ yep. down for a cover any way he can. AJ kicking out at one, but every time he has to kick out, he expends a little more energy. It's yeah, a but I bit think those, gas in the tank. That's true, but I think those uh, kickouts at one uh, has a lot to do with just pride and, and, and ego. Uh, AJ, you know, like we said, he's been all over. He's accomplished a lot of things, and I think uh, the fact that this uh, relatively young and new uh, talent is uh, taking it to him the way he, ha he has been, has been in charge for most of the match, that's got a weigh on AJ's uh, ego. So I think those kickouts at one, even though he could probably kick out of, uh, at two, are a bit of a, you know, a slap to the face uh, to Cedric. Oh, and look out here, Ooh. Styles. Trying to get the head down. We've seen him hit that Styles Clash on the top rope before. <clears throat> Cedric fighting out of it, though. Oh, he might have rocked himself with that headbutt there. That happens. I've been a victim of that many times. Now what Cedric got planned all the way on the top rope. Could it be a superplex here? Can he get AJ up and over? AJ fighting. AJ's oh. fighting it. Oh! oh! Down front suplex from that, the top rope, and both men are down. That was not a good landing for AJ either, though. He landed very hard as well, but at least he got uh, he took Cedric down with him, really. So uh, the playing field is uh, a little more even now. Let's see who gets up first. AJ Styles needed to create some separation. He did, but as Kevin Steve pointed out, at a high cost to himself as well. Both guys struggling to get to their feet. They have been in an absolute war. 
Cedric has been on point with strikes, some very hard punches and forearms to the face. AJ AJ's back to his feet first. AJ Styles showing off his athleticism. Oh! Myriad of moves and now just a club and clothesline. Oh! Oh my God. Spinning kick has Cedric Alexander rocked. And a dream match just spits in trouble here, but AJ up and over, wow, lands on his feet. He's got that springboard forearm he uses expertly, and there it is. There is. Cedric Alexander as AJ Styles kips up. AJ Styles getting a second win. Out here. Oh. Drives him down in a quick cover. Cedric Alexander lost his first dream match. No. I don't know that I have seen Cedric in as much trouble as this in any of the dream matches to date. Cedric Alexander uh, looks a little worried there. AJ Styles stalking. Styles has been in, oh, and now calling for that Styles clash. This is what hurt Roderick Strong, but oh, able to escape there. Cedric, oh, he's got him for that full Nelson. And now, oh, oh man, right man. Could that be it? Has he beat AJ Styles? No, he did not. No, he did not. And Cedric Alexander is beside himself. That was uh, probably, I've seen Cedric hit that move many times. That was by far the most effective way I've ever seen him hit it before. Fans chanting, that was three, and it may, it may have been. Referee Mitch Blaylock assures us it was two. This match continues. Fans chanting, this is awesome now. I'd be hard pressed to disagree with them. Just two spectacular athletes right now. This is, on a, I have a feeling it's just gonna get better. Getting a look at what might be a historic match right here one day, folks. The present in AJ Styles, the future in Cedric Alexander. Which man is going to walk away from this victorious? Cedric might be going for that brain buster. That's his move if he can get Styles up, but Styles sinking low, not allowing it to happen. And now, oh! Hook Cedric for that deck breaker. Uses uh, Cedric's momentum while he's going over uh, for that suplex and just drives him down. AJ, over, you know, throughout his career has developed some very unique offense, uh, which is always hard to prepare for. Like I've mentioned, uh, no matter how many times you watch uh, DVDs and not tapes of the man, it's very hard to prepare for uh, offense like that that nobody else really uh, ever does. Oh, and AJ Styles was in a bad place up there, and Cedric made sure that it got worse. Big leaping palm strike. And now once again, Cedric might be looking for another suplex, superplex. Last time this ended badly for him. Styles was able to reverse it. Bit of a doubtful move. You're, you're, you're right. Uh, doesn't work out once. Going for it a second time when the uh, price to pay, if it doesn't work, oh, look at AJ. Yep. Yeah. Oh. oh, but Cedric rolls it through. Has he got him here? He's got him hooked. No. Big chop from Styles. Oh, and now into a side headlock and raining punches down. Oh! oh there's the COD. Concussion on delivery. Can he drag him out here? He's got him covered. Two. Has he beat AJ Styles? No. Well, Cedric has hit AJ with just about everything in his arsenal tonight. The last club in the bag might be that brain buster. AJ Styles trying to make it back to the corner just to be able to pull himself back up. Cedric. Uh, but oh, look out, calf killer, could it be? Yes, he's got that calf killer in. And Cedric Alexander is in the middle of the ring and in real trouble. 
We have seen a number of people tap out to this. Cedric is in serious trouble here, trying to drag himself to the ropes. Crowd begging Cedric not to tap. He gets the oh. ropes. And somehow Cedric able to drag himself over, clawing to get to the ropes. And makes AJ break. And I think AJ thought he might have been able to sneak one by there. He appears frustrated too. You have to wonder if Cedric's getting in AJ's head a little bit. Cedric, I'm sure, came in understanding the level of competition he was going to get. Did Styles? Did AJ Styles understand what he was going to get into with Cedric Alexander? Is maybe he frustrated, wondering what he's going to have to do to put this kid away? I'm sure AJ was aware of Cedric and uh, what he brings to the table, but it's like I said many times during this match, you can't really prepare for somebody uh, until you're in the ring with them. So. Now both these guys trying to lock up hamstrings and quads, kicking each other in the leg. Oh, oh. AJ blocked it. Oh! oh. Cedric's, Cedric's got to capitalize, hey, though. Block that. Oh, Pele kick! Pele kick! Cedric Alexander is out on his feet. He's trying to stay up. And God makes the ropes. ropes to help him. If he had been another two foot from those ropes, I think he'd have ended up face down on the mat. Double clothesline, both men thinking the same thing. What are they doing? And referee, what, what, is what this? here? Now, what is Country Jack doing out here? What is Country Jack doing out here? They have nothing to do with this match. Cedric tosses him to the floor, tosses Corey to the floor, and now Paige comes in and he goes to the floor as well. Cedric will set up here. Oh, Styles flips it down, rolls him up. To, oh, wait, he's got him up. He's got him up. No. And no, it flash. no. No, not this. One, two. I, I can't believe it. Country Jack is going to have hell to pay. I have a feeling about that. The undefeated record in the Dream Match Series is over thanks to Country Jack. An unbelievable match. AJ Styles defeats Cedric Alexander, but give the assist to Corey Hollis and Adam Page, who had no damn business being out here in the first place. Styles winning with the Styles Clash. Welcome, Welcome back. back. I'm sorry, I thought no, it was my hey, line. Go for it, man. No, 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 no. You, you, it's your the, show. Go ahead. All right, all right. Well, welcome back. Uh, once again, I'm KJ. I'm, I'm standing here with John Schuyler. Uh, you might recognize him from uh, NXT, Ring of Honor. He's been around. I've been around. I've been around a lot of places. Europe, Asia, United States, all over. But right here tonight, I'm in Thompson, Georgia, baby, for Viral Pro Wrestling. Thompson, Georgia. All right. And who are you? You're uh, taking on Hex tonight, right? Yes. How do you feel about that matchup? Uh, he's been making some waves as of late. It's been a long time since I've been in the ring with Hex. So uh, tonight should be a lot of fun. I'm excited to be here making my Viral Pro debut. All right. Well, if you guys are here at the show, you're going to be able to see it. If you're not, now that's too bad. You'll get that to the, hear about it later. Yeah. But uh, here, I will ask you a couple of things real quick while we've got you for the fans. Um, during your uh, run on NXT and Ring of Honor and all that, uh, what were some of your most defining moments? Uh, one of the cool things that we got to do with NXT is we got to be a part of a lot of the live events. Uh, one being in Columbia, South Carolina, my hometown, uh, in the Township Auditorium where I saw wrestling for the first time as a kid. So getting to wrestle in that building was pretty cool. That's like a dream come true. So that was definitely probably a defining moment for NXT. Uh, and then for Ring of Honor, you know, because I'm such a mark for like wrestling buildings and history and stuff like that, getting to wrestle in the Hammerstein Ballroom and, and pick up a big TV win in the Hammerstein was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so, but both my experiences in Ring of Honor and NXT were both awesome, and I can't wait to go back to both companies. Awesome. Oh, so you're gonna, you've got plans to. Yeah, yeah. All right. For all sure. Right. Cool, cool. Well, that's going to be awesome. So uh, keep an eye on this guy for some of that. And uh, we're going to introduce our next match on our show coming up. 
Uh, this is going to be in place of our Georgia Championship Wrestling match, which you would usually see in this part of the show. Tonight we're going to go, well, we've got our indie thing going on. So we're going to go down to O, what was it? O o S C W, man. Come thank on, you. old school championship letters. wrestling. All those letters, man. Well, thank you. And in that match, we have John Schuyler taking on, was it Brady Pierce? It was Brady Pierce. Brady so Pierce. you did your homework today. A little bit. You know, I, I don't, I'm not good at studying. Numbers, letters, it's okay. Colors, exactly. shapes, you're going to learn, though. Cool. Do you have any words about that match to talk about? Uh, Brady Pierce is a great athlete too. He's a guy that's all jacked up. It's uh, always fun to step in the ring with Brady and can't wait to step in the ring with him here in the future. But in the meantime, I think people should check this match out. All right, so you'll get your uh, home dose of John Schuyler and we'll be getting our live dose here in just a minute. So thanks for tuning in for this segment. Thanks for coming on, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, it. Greg, Bill, James. Um, Kenny. Kenny. Yeah, great. Sweet. Great. It was great to meet you. Uh, good luck tonight. Thank you. Great. We'll be back in just a minute. Because there's no man in this building that has a set to face Brady Pierce. Kelly Phoenix, gonna put your gear back on. Give me a raise, bro. Let me know how it's gonna work.
Let's get him out of the corner. Come on. Come on. Come on.
See this? They've even got bootios. That's crazy. All the crazy merch you can find at the VPW shows. You know, if you haven't been coming to these, you're really missing out. You need to come out of these VPW shows. They happen every 
second Saturday of every other month. So the next one's going to be in October. All right? You don't want to miss out. Okay? Cool. Great. Awesome. We've been talking about VPW. We're here, you know. And our main event tonight is a VPW match from the past. It's a three-way match between Anthony Henry, Brandon Parker, and Adrian Armour. And maybe one or two of those will be here tonight. I hope so. Maybe, maybe not. We'll just have to see. But, yeah. I guess we'll just let you know. So. Check out this main event. I'll be back with you in just a little bit with the wrap-up for tonight's show. All right? Stay cool. Mouthpiece with teeth. You ready? Play mouthpiece. You ready? Guy without mouthpiece. You ready?
Back everybody, it's been a heck of a show. Um, you see behind me, I'm, I'm here at the, the cages, you know, in the back annals 
of the Sweetwater Gym in Thompson, Georgia. It's been a heck of a night out here. If you weren't here, you really missed out. It's been a crazy show. And I've got the rundown for you. I'm gonna wrap things up and we're gonna just run through and you'll know how things went tonight at VPW Infection 2. So the first match of the night, Sean Legacy versus Kid Riot. Sean Legacy came out on top in that match. Uh, match two was the intergender tag match between the teams of Nicole Payne and Lenny Stratton and Owen Knight and Kira Hogan. Knight and Hogan won that match. Yeah, it was a good one. Um, let's see. Third up, we had Effie and Sugar Dunkerton, and Effie won that match. We actually did a little bit of talking to him. You might see that at some point. Um, next up, um, let's see, the fourth match, we had John Schuyler and Hex. Uh, man, Hex took out John Schuyler. That was, <laughs> wow, we didn't expect that one, did we? But hey, great job, Hex. We'll see him in a couple of months. Uh, let's see here. Then we had our intermission, and we came back from the intermission. Um, Buff had some um, things to say in the ring, and he got jumped by Zane and Wade Adams, and then they kind of had a little altercation. They decided on, we're going to have a match later on tonight, night, so that's coming up in the wrap-up. But after intermission, we saw Chip Day defeat Tracer X, and then, let's see here on my notes... Then came the big elimination tag team match between the four teams, the Hellhounds, the Ugly, Ducky, Ugly Ducklings, excuse me, the Hierarchy and High Profile. High Profile were the first eliminated, followed by the Hierarchy, and then the Hellhounds took out the Ducklings. It was a very close one. I know Coach Mikey was very upset. <laughs> That's always kind of funny to see. So, And then after that, the match that was introduced a little earlier in the night, Zane Riley and Wade Adams took on White Mike and Buff the Stuff Bagwell, <laughs> and White Mike and Buff defeated Wade and Zane. And then finally, at the end of the night, the I Quit match between Chris Main and Six. And it's been a long road for these two guys, but Chris Main finally got his match in the ring with Six, and he finally got his title. So. There you go. It was a very exciting night. Once again, if you weren't here, you really missed out. Consider coming to future shows. They happen every other month on the second Saturday. So the next one is going to be the second Saturday in October. Coming out, Sweetwater Gym, Thompson, Georgia. And we'll see you then. You guys have a great night. Well, we just finished up the big main event, the I Quit match between Chris Main and Six, and uh, Chris is looking a little beat up, but look, he's got the title. How do you feel, Chris? You doing okay, man? I feel like I, get, I got hit by a Mack truck. Yeah, he's about as big as one, right? I feel like I went through hell and back, but I set out with a mission when I first got my opportunity at this title. I told you, Six. I was going to dismantle the Monster Squad and then I was going to take what was yours that you truly care about. I did that tonight and yet I feel pretty concussed but right here is the validation for everything that I've worked for and now my journey as Viral Pro Wrestling Champion begins. All right, well, you deserve some rest, Chris. Why don't you sit on down and revel in your victory? And uh, we'll see you again in the future, all right? You gonna make it, buddy? I got the title. I'm more than okay. That's all you need, huh? All right. Well, we'll see you guys next time, all right? You just take it easy, man. <laughs>